12 rounds, the WBO final eliminator. Touch him up, good luck, win a swear. Mike Gallivarano, 34 and 2, 23 knockouts. Here we go. Both of them have black trunks on. Alvarado, the guy with the tattoo. Marquez, a smaller man. A little bit lighter. And he's giving away five inches in reach to Mike Alvarado. First priority. Let's see if my size makes any difference before. I... First round is going to be third round. See what the guy has. And that's what he's got to do. Set him. up right in front of each other. Marquez comes in, catches him with a light right hand across the nose. That's loose with the right hand, does uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. But the crowd is very enthusiastically behind Juan Manuel Marquez. Marquez, he used to be strictly a boxer. Absolutely. A as he's doing in this round. Nice right hand, snapped ahead that time of Alvarado. Body shot downstairs. Oh, oh night long. Usual. Which is more right now than Alvarado's doing as a bell ends. And that's a Marquez round. Marquez lands a jab. Double jab, right hand over the top. Coming momentarily almost like. Alvarado, clearly the bigger man in there, both in height and in reach. But the heavier punches will land in the first round by Marquez. Alvarado misses again with his left hook. I know what he's trying to do right now. Well, we talked about a feeling up round, and now he's trying to pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah. Marquez face inside, doesn't get Alvarado to move, so he throws the left hook. Right hand. Early in the fight, we want to, you know, certainly present your will against this guy. That's the reason why. Marquez lands a shot. Things are not going particularly well at this stage for Mike Alvarado. Fine pressure, throwing lots of punches and landing big shots. The way he's holding his gloves up so high, still fighting the Provodnikov. He's, right. And it's still planted in his mind. Right. But the less hitting he does, the more hitting he's going to get. Marquez throws that 45 degree uppercut twice, followed by a left hook and a right hand. Great combinations. Overhand right over the top, uppercut, left hook. And Alvarado's trying to be the counterpuncher. And Alvarado That's not his game. He didn't come back with anything. <laughs> Boxing lesson so far by the master, Marquez. Alvarado continues to wait. Counted by the master counterpuncher, Marquez. Wow, with the left hand and then the counterpunch again by Marquez, but it didn't land. Right hand, left hand to the body by Marquez. Solid shots, too. I mean, he's stepping inside, but he's getting in the distance, but he's not throwing any punches. He has to work the body. Uh, it looks like he wants to try something, but he's not quite sure how to, how to get it done without paying too high a price. Right. Alvarado's not doing anything but sitting in front of him. It's a nice combination. One solid right hand landed by Marquette. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Closing seconds now of the third round. Well, instead of making Marquez look too old, he's making he's taking 10 years off of his life the way he's fighting. <laughs> he's not fighting like a 40-year-old man. No, he's not. Marquez. The opponent can make him look 10 years older or 10 years younger. Right. Depending on how he fights. Exactly. Well, exactly. You called it. He's looking 10 years younger. <laughs> 10 years younger right now. Alvarado to the left of your screen. Marquez now to the left of your screen. And now Alvarado seems to want to pick it up a little bit here. From Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. Jab, jab, left hook. One punch at a time is not going to do it. Got him with a little stuff on the inside. That's where Alvarado has to be. Oh, 
Mike almost paused with the heel of his hand forward. Marquez right back, swing hard, punches, spins out of there. Well, he knows what he has to do now. That you can see. Right. Wasn't working. Well, first of all, that right hand that he's throwing over the top keeps missing. He needs to bring that right up again. Mike Alvarado. Needs and another a decent job by Alvarado. Mike goes with that right hand lead. Very comfortable fight plan right now. Look at this. Man. I mean, if this is going to be a distance fight, how many rounds can you give away to Marquez the way he boxed? Alvarado having a better round, but he's not winning this round. Not winning this. Oh, hand speed of Juan Manuel Marquez. He lands the shot, loaded up two right hands. The bell ends the fourth round. You get desperate, so you got to do something. To, to now you find out how good the fighter is, and he certainly showed right. everybody how good he was. Take one big punch to one slow punch Marquez down. down right now. Well, okay. we've seen Marquez on the canvas a number of times, and that's yeah. always a bad idea for right-handed fighter to turn southpaw. They lose accuracy, they get hit more. Marquez keep putting money in the bank, blending that. Oh my. Jab, jab, left hook. Look at that. There it is again. Left hook upstairs, then back downstairs. Alvarado gets hit with an uppercut, another uppercut, straight right hand. Alvarado's got to be very frustrated right now as he tries to back Marquez into the corner. I thought that was a good body shot by Marquez. Look at the hand speed of Marquez, man. Well, it's certainly shining tonight against Mike Galvarado. Who's the uppercut from Alvarado when he was in the chest where he wanted to be? There's the uppercut. And right back comes uh, Marquez with an uppercut of his own. Marquez to get off the rope, so he slides down now. Mike comes to the uppercut, but he pays with a straight right hand. Everything that Mike Alvarez does is counted by Juan Manuel Marquez. And there's only 15 seconds left in this round. Closing seconds now of the fifth. Look at this, man. Right hand almost caught him. Now there's like a second win after he gets beat up there. You know, Alvarado's strength has been his strength. Marquez, otherwise it's... Nice, nice jab. Well, he's trying to impose his will right now, Larry. But in terms, I'm, I'm talking about in terms of just imposing your will. In the sixth round, and he's trying to do that, but Marquez is doing a nice job countering it. He's got to keep the pressure on this guy. He might just try to go for the kill. He's trying to land a big, just knockout blow. He, he needs to let his hands actually fly. Try not to land a hard shot, but just place your shots. Try to land punches. Well, Marquez is a naturally smaller, quicker. I remember, he was a featherweight. The bigger guy's got him. Round six with only 27 seconds to go. Again, another better round for Alvarado, but I don't think he's won the round. Not with combinations like this, and it's like that. In no time have we seen Marquez get hit like he's hitting Alvarado right now. In this round or any other round. There's a solid shot, but it just, here they go. We're out of time in the sixth round. Wow. Our principals, Juan Manuel Marquez, a great champ, future Hall of Fame, and giving a boxing lesson to the former champ, Mike Alvarado. Right hand lead, but just a chopping one. Didn't do any damage to Juan Manuel. How frustrating is this when things won't go? Around when things don't go your way. Yes, there is. Great right hand. Good right hand by Alvarado on the inside. But now the fight is turning into a bit of a war as Alvarado 
has tried to impose his will. Uppercut inside, right back comes Alvarado. Mike touches him up with that jab. Oh, why didn't he throw the right hand there? Marquez sets up in front of him, gets off first as he always has been doing. Throws a combination of punches and Mike comes right through him. But he hasn't been able to land the clean shot. Decent right hand by Alvarado. Right back comes Marquez. Whoa! Right hand over the shoulder that time of Marquez. Closing seconds now of the seventh. Better action round, but I can't give that to Alvarado. Uh, I think he's trying. Uh, unlike the first two or three rounds where he was very passive and uh, trying to figure it all out. He's figured out what he has to do now. Can he do it? I always say, if you get hit anyway. Back out, um, if my memory is correct, no big right. So he is vulnerable, but you can see everything coming uh, from Alvarado. Right, Alvarado's right eye beginning to close up a little bit too, which could become a problem in the next round or so. Um, I noticed that Freddie Roach, uh, Pacquiao's trainer, is at ringside studying his. How much does he have left? Really close. What are we going to face with him the next time? Because just continues to outbox him, getting off first, which we expected. I would say six times, and really hasn't landed any of them. Nice left hook that time by Alvarado. They trade punches. I think he hit. He, right. I could just stand there and he's going to hit me and then we'll go on with the rest of it. And that's what Marquez is doing. Every time Mike tries to throw a combination. The nature of a great champion fighter. Oh, he missed it! He drops Alvarado! Right hand almost knocked him out of the ring. And seven, can Mike get up at eight? He does. Hey, come here, Mike! Mike, come here! Alvarado oh. and Lando, a big Order. shot, and the round is over. Oh! Jeff Pacquiao didn't get up in time. Wow. Right on the button. Look at that, right on top of the left eye. Right on the way in with a perfect shot. The same shot that was heard and seen around the world when he knocked out Manny Pacquiao. Trying to bounce to get some light back in those legs. And Juan Manuel may be sensing the beginning of the end here. Alvarado very flat-footed right now. Very patient right now is Juan Manuel. Looking for the goal. Oh, and he drops one. And Mike Alvarado drops Marquez. How about that, folks? Now can Mike try to finish him off? It was a flash knockdown in his case. To be good. Juan Manuel is right down on his heels. And we're going to pick up the pace. He wants to turn it into a pure six ball right now. But his legs are not only there. Uh, in this fight. That might have been prize fighter coming back from that knockdown in the early round to do that. Let's see if he can follow up on it. Absolutely. Well, Marquez is fighting <laughs> well. The upper cut to get hit by a right hand. But Marquez's legs are not totally there right now. Not totally. Alvarado must take advantage of this opportunity. Mexican fighter fighting uh, on instinct right now, as is Alvarado, who's got a bad, bad mouse underneath his left eye. Well, rather than just the third kind of puncher, can he catch him with that right hand or perhaps a left hook? Now look at this, back comes Marquez, and they go at it, toe to toe with five, four, three seconds to go. Here comes the bell in a terrific round for Alvarado. Slinging right hand, right on the nose. We got a surprise fight, man. We got a war. Doctor's coming in now. Both guys are very flat-footed right now. Both guys a bit tentative in the early going. Straight left cut through by Alvarado. Alvarado wants to land another right hand if he can. And Marquez with that left time down and had the opportunity but couldn't get off. It was a one-sided fight through eight rounds and all of a sudden Alvarado via the knockdown crawls back into the fight to make this 
very interesting in the last three rounds here. And he's smart enough to know how to how to get to the wire oh, without without. Stiff left hand. Dorado continues to wait as he bobs to the left now. Back from the right. Hoping he can catch him with that right hand there that dropped it. And here they go back at it again. This is the 11th round at the floor. And again, Marquez gets off first. Bounces the head back of Mike Alvarado. Marquez just keeps ducking that right hand. He needs to set it up with that left foot. Because that left foot can throw the right hand behind him. Marquez throws three or four punches again. Nice uppercut. And we got the idea that Alvarado might be able to finish him off, but he couldn't. Yeah. We're not sure. Never know. I'm sure. I'll, I'll commit myself. <laughs> <laughs> the only round on my score sheet that I haven't given to Marquez was the round in which you get knocked down in. Oh, look at that. He, he said no because the uh, seat didn't hit the canvas. I thought his glove might have touched the canvas, and if it That's did, a, we'll see in the replay. Closing seconds of the 11th round. Still a Marquez round. Better as a fighter. That it wasn't simply that he was outclassing right. a guy. Has his hand touched the ground? No. no. I couldn't see if it was a clear shot either. And, and the feet kind of get tied up a little yes. bit there more than a punch. More of a off balance sort of thing. Well, he got hit pretty good with that. He got yeah, he did. That angle showed it clearly. This is the 12th and final round. Well, Marquez is in the position that he has earned. He can just make sure that he's not going to get clocked out here. That fighters like this guy will fight to the end. When he cruised, he thought he won. But for Alvarado, for sure. Can't wait. One minute's already gone. His only hope is to knock this guy out. It's gonna happen. Midway through now. He's not gonna let him land that right hand. Staying away, moving excellently, backing off. Ties him up on the ropes. Final blast with that right hand, but can't catch him. Looks like the picture of a, of a beaten warrior. Alvarado. He is a beaten warrior right now. 40 seconds to go in the fight as he continues to be hurt by shots off the hands of Juan Manuel Marquez. Alvarado is a warrior, but there's inside of 25 seconds to go in the fight. And Marquez is landing shots still. 15 seconds now. Alvarado's just about out of time. And as Juan Manuel it finishes with the flurry with six seconds to go in the fight. He battles right to the end like the warrior that he is. All three scorecards to the winner by unanimous decision. Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez.